Okay, sorry. I'll be good now. I started off going to college hoping I would be a veterinarian. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't quite get there, did I? No. Um, how did you pay for it? Actually, the first years, my parents paid for it. My father had saved money. It was, of course, a lot cheaper for college in 1978 when I started. Um, but then later, uh, I worked um, full time, and then I just took a few classes. Um, what was one thing from high school that helped you in college? Uh, writing. We had an excellent English teacher, Betty Bream. And everybody remembers Betty Bremen because we all learned to write term papers, essays. Um, yeah, that, that was incredibly helpful. And also my math teacher, Mr. Dahl, Norm Dahl was his name. And uh, I was only going to take two years of math. And he kind of cornered me in the hallway and said, you need to take more math. And. <laughs> And he was friends with my father in the Lions Club. <laughs> so I felt the, anyway, um, I, I, you know, I'd always struggled with math and uh, I learned to read the book. I learned to read the book. Um, so which college did you go to? UW-Madison. Um, why did you choose UW-Madison? You know, it's like, I didn't really choose it. Um, <laughs> It was, you know, there were a bunch of us who were going to college, and I think five of us, and we all applied there. Uh, what is one of your most fondest memories of college? Actually, um, you know, coming from a small town, I mean, frankly, I, I was pretty stressed out. <laughs> um, because, you know, you could go into a lecture hall and there would be 300 or 500 people, you know, mm -hmm. which was like half the town then. Um, but one of my best memories is meeting this woman, Nina Bidapa. She was from India. And she was really, a, man, energetic, did a lot of things, introduced me to a lot of people. It was great. <clears throat> Are there anything, or like anything in specific that you learned in college that you didn't know beforehand? Oh, <laughs> many. Um, well, I had to take, I think, my first year chemistry trig. I can't remember. It was a lot of science and math. Botany. Botany had um, three hour. You had lecture Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You had two two hour laboratories, and you had um, like a I don't know where you got together with a teaching assistant. It was like your quiz period. So, um, you know, it's not like you just, some of these classes that you just go to a lectures. You know, there's a lot more time involved. Um, what did I learn? I mean, I've just never been in that kind of an environment where there were people from all over the world. Um, I didn't know how to take a bus. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, I had never lived in a city. So it was really <laughs> much different. Um, do you have any tips for people that are going into college? Well, I know some things I wish I had done differently. Um, I wish I had started at a smaller place. Like, so I could have learned how to take a bus. <laughs> no, but a, a smaller place where I, I, I would have been able to focus more on school and not just getting around you know, um, and dealing with city life. Um, and I think the other thing is that there's really nothing wrong, you know, when I did it, everybody had to decide what were you gonna do, what were you gonna do, and it, I think it's good to decide what area you're gonna go into, like medicine, science, you know, literature, whatever, but be willing to change the plan. Have a plan B.